Hi, I'm Beth Sack. I'm Manager of Addiction Services at Linden Oaks Hospital, and I'm here today to hopefully answer a few questions you may be having about substance use. I often get asked, what are the signs and symptoms, what you'll be looking for in regards to our family members at home if they're using? And usually with adolescents and young adults, you're mostly going to look for different changes in behavior. Some of them may include a drop or change in their grades, changing in friends and the peer groups that they're hanging around, changes in extracurricular activities and uh, different things that they used to be in, um, find enjoyable, they no longer like to be engaged in. And sometimes people think those are somewhat cliche, and initially a substance use is maybe just experimentation. You may not see a lot of changes in those areas with somebody. But as substance use progresses, you will see a change in friendships, you will see a change in lack of motivation, not wanting to be involved in activities. Those are big signs that you really want to be aware of. And one of the key things you can do at that time is to have open communication with your family member. Research has shown that when family members talk about what they disapprove of, it's more likely that their children will not go ahead and follow through with that type of behavior. For instance, if you let them know you disapprove of alcohol or drug use, and you're open in your conversations with them about that, it's more likely that they would not want to disappoint you and engage in those types of behaviors. Another question that um, comes up quite frequently when you find alcohol or drugs or you find paraphernalia and you're wondering, what should I do now? Uh, again, open communication is very, very important, but if you're really concerned that the substance use has moved past just experimenting and trying it a couple times, it will be very important to get professional help and to have an assessment done. Linden Oaks offers free assessments 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but there's also other facilities in our community that would offer free assessments. That way you can have a professional meet with your family member and assess them and find out for sure what's going on in regards to their substance use and what type of follow-up would be most important and most appropriate for them. Thank you.